What up, heartthrobs? Um, right, today's video comes out of necessity. I've been invited on a canoe trip. We normally do one a year, um, but I've got a new van and I don't have a roof rack for it yet. So my Canadian canoes, my sit on top canoes, are no good for me to take. I do have inflatables, but I felt like something different. So today, I'm gonna to be making a canoe out of scrap, shrink wrap, and small plastic. All off cuts, basically, so it's a free canoe. Um, no mathematics were harmed during the making of this video. I can leave out measurements of the kit I have. Um, I might even mention them, but they're not measurements for any reason. I've not figured out buoyancies or anything like that. I've figured out if my fat ass can get through holes. Um, so yes, I'm either going to be a legend or wet. Now, I've taken some ideas from different videos on YouTube. Um, this isn't anything like a specific one on YouTube because as I say, I'm using offcuts. And... Because I know what's in store for it, it's not just a little paddle down a quiet stream. There are fish passes and flumes and stuff like that. I need to make it a little bit stronger and a little bit more tear resistant. So, fingers crossed. Um, I am 95% confident I will make it to the end of the 19 mile paddle and I believe five fish passes I've got to negotiate. Anyway, that's enough of me sweating and talking crap in front of the camera. I'm gonna get outside now, get me duct tape ready and start making this bad boy. Right, first things first. I have three loops. Two slightly smaller and a further two slightly smaller. The idea will be that will sit like that, that will sit like that. With that on the end, the picture rail off cuts will go from end to end, making the shape of a canoe. Simple as, really. Um, I'll give you the measurements of these hoops. As I say, the measurements are for no other reason other than I can fit my arse in it. Um, I don't know if it's enough buoyancy there to keep me afloat or anything. There's only one way to find out. So the big one is 480 by 800. Middle one is 270 by 500. And then we got 150 by 270, the little one. The strips of picture rail come in at 2.7 meter. The reason they're 2.7 meter is so I can fit them in my van. Because once it's all made, I need to fit it in my van. I ain't got a roof rack. Right, I'll get all this to one side. I'll go get me some duct tape and I'll get going. So, first things first, what we need is, we are going to sit these loops like so duct tape them all together, that will give me the cockpit to sit in and the widest part of the canoe. So uh, I'll get doing that. Get that nice and level. right enough for me. Just to get the shape right, that will do for now. Right. Try 
trying to keep it all central. Have a little look see. Right then, so from here I'm going to start to add my supports. I'm going to get this one central. I'm going to slightly offset it so the seating area is a little tiny bit further back then um, like so, just so it raises the front up when I'm paddling. I don't know if it makes a blind bit of difference, but I'm open. Looking at it now, that looks mightily short, but we'll soon find out, won't we? As you can see again, I'm not exactly measuring. That looks right, okay. I'll find the center of that roughly. Make sure that is running straight. And we'll get the tape in. Right, the tape's only on there temporarily. Obviously, I'll go around and tape everything up a lot, a lot stiffer after the event. Another one. About there. I've got a feeling these should have been longer. I've got to try and get these straight. Now what I'll do, start filling in around.
What's that logging in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. He'd admit he looks a state surprise the hammer takes that way Yeah, he's no oil painting, that's for sure When he don't suffer fools at all He's got a friend with just one body Down we know he loves us all But we never let it show Nobby, 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 Nobby Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you Nobby, Nobby, Nobby You can find him in the woods Gotta wonder what he's up to So, as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward at the moment. I've tied everything off. I'll be going back over with um, duct tape when I'm done. There's the top for me to get in. I will be putting a seat along the bottom. As you can see here, you've got your ribs. This is the bit I wanted to show you. When we come to the end with some of the uh, progressively smaller holes, I was a bit ambitious by the amount that I could actually bend this timber. So what I've done, I've tied that up into position on the side gunnels to hold it up high. And then I will bend these and tie them into position. And we should be golden. Then we'll come to the back, do the same to the back. I've got a few bits of off cut left, which I'll run from the top and the back. And hopefully that should be enough to keep me afloat. I am hotter than a Romford gas man. I'm going to keep tying this, hopefully get the uh, frame done, make everything a bit more secure, certainly this top bit because that's quite wobbly and if I hit a fish pass that's definitely going for a burn. As you can see here as well I um, had one too few of my long ribs so I've had to fudge something with two of the shorter ones. Once again it ain't going to look pretty but we'll see how it looks when I finish making it shall we?
let's have a look at what I've got so far. As you can see, bucket on the end will get wrapped. Nice strong frame, nice and light. That is measuring in at nine foot long. Um, I have no idea if that is going to be uh, have enough buoyant force to keep me afloat. But we've got a decent curve on the bottom. All of this is doing absolutely nothing now. Um, it's all held on by lashing. It certainly seems rigid enough. What I am going to do, I've got an offcut of um, DPC membrane for what goes under um, paper check layer. You'll see it. It's blue bleeding polythene. I'm going to wrap it in the blue polythene and then I'm going to wrap it in shrink wrap. What I might do is put a layer of shrink wrap on first, then the polythene, then more shrink wrap. Even added a little seat look. So uh, depending on how this goes, I might put a, a thing up for a backrest or just use that as a backrest. I'm going to add two more side panels here just to give that a little bit more stability. But pretty much I'm ready to wrap. So a closer look, you've got a bucket there covering up all of the dodgy ends. That loop all tied round goes up to three bigger loops of the same size. That's sitting on top to uh, make the porthole, no sorry the, the entrance. I'm going to have a bit of timber in here just to give that a little bit of stability. Same the other side, goes down towards the other end, exactly the same. I've just got to find a bucket for that end. So all in all, I'm optimistic. And sweating, don't forget the sweating. So uh, hopefully it should make 19 miles. We'll see, won't we? So what I've got here is just some uh, VPL, damp proof membrane, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is an off cut. You can buy it from builders, merchants for next to nothing. So all I'm going to do is wrap the canoe in it pull it nice and tight, tuck it in where it needs tucking in, gaffer tape it up, and um, then afterwards I'll saran wrap it. The reason I put this in, it's obviously a lot harder wearing than the saran wrap. So if I get any scuffs, saran wrap can rin, rip. I can remain waterproof and just repair the saran wrap, shrink wrap, whatever you want to call it, as and when. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go together. So you're going to see a bit of origami, probably at plus 20 speed. And that ain't good. Remedial repairs. So, the back bit just snapped. I might get away with that. Might. 
that snap up there, now that's still all in one piece. So if I can get another bit of timber across there, I should be golden. So the last little bit is to shrink wrap it. I'm going to enlist the help of my lads to help me. Enlist the help of my lads to help me. I'm going to enlist my lads to help me. I'm going to put three layers right the way around. The repairs I'll do in the morning, I'll just need to make up a little brace and then we're golden. Ethan? Mm -hmm. Right. What I need you to do, hold that to start. Then when this comes, <laughs> grab, hold it in and then ring it round. There we go. Hold it, Harry. I need to do this tight. Where it's all loose at the back there. <laughs> How can I see where it's loose? Cut me opening. Mm. Out of the way the camera's on. Thank you. The grand opening. I'm going to be paddling 19 miles in, boys. What do you reckon? You're going to drown. Does it? Uh, possibly. Does it look like a kayak? Um, yes. Does it? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? The only thing is, your mum's going to have the right up with that in her house. Isn't she? Eh. Uh, on second floor, you might not die by drowning after all. Mm. Good point, yes, I may die by your mother. Just roll it in place. You're not over the knife, son, because, uh, no disrespect, you're an idiot. Good point. You're not an idiot, Harry. No. But you do resemble one. What do you reckon the chances are of your old man making it? Um. You meant to say good. Yeah, good. Fabulous. Fabulous. Right. That's it for now. I might do a video of me testing it, or I might just hit the canoe passes with it as it is. Got a little repair to do. You don't need to see it. I'm just going to make a brace to hold that end up. And put a little seat in to raise me up about 150 mil. You happy? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. You don't look happy. Okay. Now I've got a tide of the garden because I can see your mum scowling and my face is leaking mucho. Until next time, ta-ra! Ta-ra!